Welcome students to the environmental studies of class 5. Today we shall study about natural resources of Goa. A natural resource is something found in nature and that can be used by people to meet their needs. It is up to us to protect our natural resources. In this chapter, we shall learn about a few natural resources such as vegetation of Goa, minerals, sea wealth and animals. Under vegetation, we shall put light on forest, crops, kumeri cultivation and flowers. Under minerals, we shall learn about ores and mining. In sea wealth, we shall look at some fish found in Goa, the Kazans, its uses, sand and shells. We shall also learn about animals, the wildlife sanctuaries in Goa, the animals found in it, birds and reptiles. The last subtopic in this chapter will be human resources. In that we shall learn about the occupations, food habits and shelter of the people of Goa. Our state Goa lies on the west coast and receives rain from the southwest monsoon winds and therefore many areas are covered with forests. In these forests there are deciduous and evergreen trees. They are of hard wood. Mangroves are found along most river banks like that of River Zuari and River Mandovi. Now let us learn about crops. Goa has two cropping seasons, namely Kharif and Rabi. Kharif crops are grown during rainy season. On the other hand, Rabi crops are grown after rainy season. The main Kharif crops grown are rice, nashne and wari. Wari is also a type of rice. The main rabi crops are rice, tsaulio, alsunde, chilies, onions, ground nuts, etc. Let us learn about Kumeri cultivation. This type of farming is also called shifting cultivation. This type of cultivation is practiced by the tribes of Goa, namely Dangas and Vilips. These tribal people live on hill slopes in forest areas. Year after year, they cut trees or burn small areas of forest to grow crops. They grow millets and pulses. In Goa, we have plantation crops of coconut, cashew, mango, areca, kokum, sugarcane, rubber, plantain, papaya, etc. Goa also is blessed with n number of flowers. Goa has a variety of flowers like Kurtzafi, Aboli, 
जायो मोगरी एंड बुई साफी नाउ वी शैल लर्न अबाउट मिनरल्स द ओर्स एंड अबाउट माइनिंग वॉट आर ओर्स When rocks contain minerals, we call them ores. What is mining? Digging out of ores from the earth is called mining. Mining is an important industry in Goa and one of the biggest. Mines of iron ore and manganese ore are found in the hilly regions to the east. and in the central plateau areas bauxite aluminum is got from an ore called bauxite there are many bauxite mines near betul asnora etc now let us learn about the sea wealth of a state goa in this we shall learn about the fish kazans the salt pans sand and shells the sea coast of goa is shallow and it has plenty of fish the important fish found in goa are mackerel sardin kingfish shark ladyfish crabs prawns cockles mussels etc i am sure you must be knowing the names in a regional language that is konkani Goa has many rivers and creeks. Fishing is also carried out in the rivers and creeks. The creeks in Goa are famous for prawn fishing. Sometimes river water enters the low-lying lands. These lands are called kazans in Goa. They are for agriculture fishing and are used as salt pans from which salt is obtained this work is done only in summer from the month of march till the end of may we find salt pans in the talukas of perne bardes tiswari and salset Goa is famous for sand and beaches. In Goa, sand is obtained from Kolwale in Bardes, Deosu in Perne, Gileli Uzgaon in Ponda. Shells. I'm sure you students love to collect shells. And we find a variety of shells in Goa. These shells are used for lime wash painting. The good ones are used for making a variety of fancy articles. Now we shall learn about the natural resources animals. We shall learn about the wild animals, the wildlife sanctuaries, birds, and reptiles Goa has many wild animals but their number is decreasing The Goa government wants to prevent the animals from being killed So certain areas in the forest are reserved for wild animals Such places are called wildlife sanctuaries in goa we have one national park at molem 
one bird sanctuary at Chorao and five wildlife sanctuaries. The largest is the Bhagwan Mahavir Sanctuary. The others are the Bondla Wildlife Sanctuary, the Kotigao Sanctuary, the Madei Sanctuary and the Netravali Sanctuary. The wild animals found in Goa are the wild boar, deer, tiger, Indian bison, mongoose, porcupine, etc. Goa is blessed with a variety of birds too. At Shorao in Teswari Taluka, we have a bird sanctuary. This sanctuary is called Dr. Salim Ali Bird Sanctuary. Dr. Salim Ali was a famous ornithologist who had done much study on birds. Children, I am sure you must have seen these reptiles. Any cold-blooded scaly animals are called reptiles like snakes, lizards, crocodiles, turtles, etc. Goa has many types of snakes and crocodiles are found in the mangroves of Kumbarjua. Between October and December, turtles, what you know as kaso, from the sea come to lay their eggs on several beaches of Goa and the most famous beach is Morji, Kalangut, etc. Lastly, we shall learn about human resources of Goa. In this, we shall learn about the occupations, food habits and shelter of the people living in Goa. Goa lies near the sea and receives heavy rainfall. Agriculture and fishing are the main occupations of the people in Goa. The other occupations include toddy tapping, mining, kitchen gardening, horticulture, lumbering. The trade of cutting and preparing or selling timber is called lumbering. As Goans, we know our food habits. We love the rice, curry and fish. This is our staple food. People also eat other food grains, vegetables and various other foodstuffs. About shelter, most people live in villages. Their houses are built of mud or laterite stone and have sloping roofs. These roofs are thatched or covered with tiles. Almost every village has electricity supply. In towns and cities, there are multi-storied buildings. These buildings have a number of flats. People live in these flats and get water supply through pipelines. To conclude, Students, today we have learned about natural resources of Goa. Goa is blessed with number of resources such as vegetation, minerals, sea wealth, animals and human resources. Thank you. Stay safe.